Mr. Drunky Drunky. What's drunken? I could have sworn that was a side mission, but whatever. Out of my way, business bitch. Oh, a flustered young woman. Guys, we got some, uh, we got some side missions. Thanks for the gift sub. Yes, sir. You. Or sorry. Y you. Huh? The thing is, you want something from me, don't you? Let's hear it then. I'm trying to say is. Uh, erm. Um, she's staring at my shoes, guys. What do I do? I have a favor to ask. Can you please be my boyfriend? Huh. Guys, is it this easy? Is this how it works? She looks like the girl who was selling her panties. I guess they can only have so many faces, you know? You, let me suck on your pee pee. Listen, it, it wasn't that far off. Nani? What did you say? Kubi! Thank you for the gifted sub. Rainbow Unicorn 69. Enjoy those fancy new emotes you got. Welcome to the meme meme cream memes. Thank you so much, Kubi. Boyfriend, back it up a step or six. What the heck's with this little lady here? I just run up to me on the street demanding that I be her man. Every girl I meet these days makes me understand I'm less and less. Gotta get it together. Can't let her know she's got under my skin. I'll give her a strong answer. Like, don't even think you won, little lady. I got no interest in women. Dar, she blows. Smeto, please be my tentacle daddy. I don't have the capabilities to be either one of those things. I got no interest in women. Huh? Oh, that's not a problem at all, but you don't mind since you set aside your preferences and just be my boyfriend for today? What are you talking about? Left out a few details, haven't I? Yeah. I need you to pretend to be my boyfriend. There you go. That's a little bit different, isn't it? Majma looks older than 24 years old than he ever did in the other games? Yeah, plus he's missing an eye. Several years now, he's been hounding me to meet suitors he's arranged for me. He was getting so persistent that I finally got fed up and told him I already have a boyfriend, so back off. I also told him my boyfriend is thin, wears an eye patch, a cool ponytail, and has a dangerous air about him. Kind of like the blade of a knife. <laughs> so many details. <laughs> and then she just bumps into me on the street. I never thought I'd have to introduce him to my father, so I just kind of made it up as I went along. Holy shit, dude. That was a bad play. You're not very good at lying. Ugh, now I have to meet her dad. Fuck it. Let's make it happen, baby. If they're under B cups, then be gone. Not a bad sentiment. Matchmakers are a shady ass profession. If you think about it, everything's a shady profession. If you're not a YouTuber, you're basically a racist. That's how it is, you know? YouTubing's the only real, pro it's the world's oldest profession. Did you know that being a YouTuber? It's true. All right, let's go pretend to be your boyfriend. My name is Kokoa. Please call me Koko-chan. And also, sorry, I didn't catch your name. Uh, I'm Majima. Please call me Mojo Jojo. Majima-san, I will address you as Goro-chan. Goro-chan? We just met. That's taking things a little fast, don't you mean? No, we pretend, but we're in a romantic relationship. We can't be so formal with each other. We have to make this believable. Hmm. Interesting. Majima should wear two eye patches for maximum coolness. Yeah. I thought she didn't have a dad. This is a different girl. Small titties are best titties. Anything more than a handful is a waste. Legs and ass gang rise up. I can agree to some of that. Although it is nice having like extra pillows. You know what I mean? It's like this pillow's getting annoying. Titties. And then, you know, life goes on. Try to keep up. We're going to the restaurant where we'll meet with my dad over dinner, the three of us. Oh, man. Dad won't be reassured unless I show him what kind of a man my boyfriend is. We have to go now, Goro-chan. Get a move on. <sighs> we got some We got some names to make. Hey, Alex, what's going on? Uh. Por que no los dos? Por que no los dos? This is true. Goro-chan, this is where we'll meet my father. I only have two requests. Please don't reveal that you're just pretending to be my boyfriend and don't anger him. Okay. 
He's just stubborn. He's not scary, though. He seems to think I'm not the sharpest tool in the shed, and he babies me more than he should, but underneath it all, he's a good father as I could... He's as good of a father as I could ask for. Titties are universally good? I mean, this is true. But if I had to pick between tits and ass, I'd be picking thighs. You see, if you start saying a bunch of weird stuff, he'll blow his lid and be all, forget this guy, I'll arrange your next date. So let's avoid that. Okay. No problemo. I need a backstory? We've been going out for six months. You're a dentist who likes going out on drives and watching movies, and your favorite food is the omelet rice I make, okay? What was all that now? I had to give my dad some details about my boyfriend, so I made stuff up. If he gets curious, can you make sure you got it memorized? Well, you ain't exactly making this a walk in the park. Yeah, dude, what's with all the fucking details, man? Going out for six months. You're a dentist. You like to go on drives and watching movies, and you love the omelet rice I make. Okay, easy, easy, easy. Oh, I see your dad's a computer programmer. Very interesting. I most definitely don't want my titties. That's a fucking mood. I mean, sumeto has got titties, and it's not doing him too good. This is true. Sumeto Media, thank you for changing the pin message. It would have been a three-hour podcast of me reading that essay. I, I didn't think about what was going to get the most likes when I pinned that message. I just thought it was interesting. I was like, random strings of text? Why not? Hello. I'm Kokoa's father. Pleased to meet you. This is the man I'm seeing, Goro Majima-san. You know, now that I think about it, meeting a girl's dad for the first time is super important for a normal couple. This could end up making an impact on the rest of her life. Guess I better buckle down and get into this role properly. No different than at the Grand, right? Ya boy was smart enough to latch up with a girl who's never met her dad. Makes it easy for me. Fuck your first impressions, you know what I mean? Sumato, have you ever seen the Notice Me Senpai news interview guy? No, I don't know what you mean. First impression, what do I open with? Ah, please make my miso soup every morning. Oh, man. Yes. Father of Koko-chan, please make my miso soup every morning. Uh, is that a marriage proposal? Goro-kun, why was it directed at me? Actually, that's a good point. Right, Kokoa-san, please make my miso soup every morning. Huh? Nani? Well, I'm glad you're asking the right person, I guess. But is really now the time for this? What an odd fellow. Still, <laughs> fucking stupid. <laughs> she calls me daddy, too? This is going so poorly. I've never done this before. My Kokoa is a few strings short herself. A man like you might actually be a pretty good fit for her. Don't call me dumb, especially not in front of my boyfriend. Well, that seemed to go well. At least her dad thinks I'm the amusing type. How the fuck did that go well? Must say, I'm surprised. You really do exist. I beg your pardon? Well, my daughter described you as a man who is tall yet slender-waisted, sports an eye patch, had long hair tied back, and emits a deadly aura not unlike a dagger's edge. I never imagined such a man could actually exist, and yet here you are in the flesh. Holy shit, she was way too descriptive when describing... Oh, an imaginary boyfriend. Jesus Christ. Huh? Overactive imagination? Hey, Kubi, thanks for the bits. Lol, her dad wants samurai chat. Right? I'm going to end up dating her fucking dad by the end of this. Ah, ha, 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 ha. They do seem to be on good terms, and her dad's a decent guy, too. Stern, but decent. What type of work are you in again? My job, huh? I'm a Yakuza. <laughs> Fuck it. I'm a Yakuza. Yeah, Yakuza? I seem to recall Kokoa saying that you were in the medical field. Stop joking around, Guru-chan. You're really a dentist, right? Ah, a joke. Hey, Kubi, thanks for more bits. Long, long man. Long, long man. Oh, I wish I could say I'm fucking long. Man. <laughs> Slender waist, but a fat dick. There you go. Now you're describing me. What you used to do. Dr. Majima's a dentist. A dentist. Remember, you said you'd pull my bad tooth soon. Yeah. I'm a cavity assassin. <laughs> uh, I was wondering, how did you come to meet Kokoa? Oh, I didn't ask you. I asked Majima. Tell me, how did you two get to know each other? 
Gotta explain how he supposedly met Coco-chan in a way that won't make him more suspicious. Uh, Coco-chan ran into me while eating toast. You know what? Fuck it. Toast. Had a piece of toast in her mouth, and she ran right into me. That's how we met. Really? That sounds awfully like an anime. <laughs> Sugoi! Of course, just like an anime. Oh, man. Search E3 Weird Gamer Guy sometime, dude. It's hilarious. I'd actually love a video with you and Internet Historian about him. I'll look into it. I medically rearrange people's faces. Yeah, why not? I found her in a Burger King parking lot. Number 14, Burger King foot lettuce. And then she got smacked by a goddamn truck. Yes. Anime is fuck, baby. Hey, Sir Longshanks, thanks for the bits. It would have been funnier if she said he was an optometrist. What with the eye patch and that all? That would be funny as shit. Yeah, I'm an optometrist. I'm not very good, though. I only have one eye. You were running to the dentist with toast in your mouth? Why would you be eating before having your teeth looked at? That was pushing it a little too far. He's got to be suspecting something by now. I'm going to put it to you straight. What is it about my daughter that you find attractive? Dad, why would you put him on the spot like that? I'm just so worried about you. You're so innocent like a child. Keeps me awake at night worrying about whether or not you'll ever manage to live a proper and prosperous family life. That's why I need to ask Majima-san. What about Kokoa do you find attractive? I don't like tricking him, but I told Koko-chan that I'd go along with this. Gotta find a good reason as to why I find her so attractive. Um... Sumeto, what's your favorite harem anime? Oh, do I even... I don't even know if I've watched a harem anime. Reminds me of Daily Lives of High School Boys. Bro, you're putting that in quotes like that's not literally my favorite anime. I fucking love that anime. I guess you could say he has an eye for it. Get the, I will ban you. Her miso soup. Uh, she makes great omelette or rice soup. Yeah, there you go. Oh, I must agree with you there. Her omelette rice has a special quality to it. I love it too. But my Jimakun... That's all you see in my daughter. I don't want to give her away to you. If it's her delicious omelet rice you want, you could just as easily marry a cook. Damn it. Tapping into Coco Chan's backstory backfired. From his dad's point of view, he'd want a guy who appreciates his daughter fully, not just for her cooking. Tenchu mayu? Omelet du fromage? Yes, of course. Nah, man, it's like woodshop. You always trust a guy with a missing finger because that's the guy who knows the pain of mistakes. Is that how it works? I don't know if that's how it works, dude. Oh, what's happening? Wait a sec. With her powdering her nose, it's down to just me and her old man. Awkward. Majima-kun. Yes. I have no idea who you really are, but thank you for playing along with my daughter's lie. Eh? What lie? <laughs> you can stop pretending I know this is all an act from the moment I sat down. It wasn't her father for all these years for nothing. Kokoa was so desperate to convince me. It's my fault she tried to stunt like this, isn't it? I'm sure, it's because I kept pushing her onto dates with all these suitors I'd arranged for her. He's got a point. Omeletu wa shindairu. I actually only know of Daily Lies because of your podcast. Oh, shit. Well, I hope you enjoy it. I mean, unless they're alcoholics, I buy it. Wait for it. Here comes the heartfelt music. Oh, ho, ho. I lost my wife when Kokoa was still an infant. I raised her along without anyone else's help. Yeah, here's the heartfelt music. Ha. Ah. There's another reason I went along with your little charade. Someday my daughter is going to bring a real boyfriend to meet me, and I thought this might be good practice. Thanks to you, I got a good idea of what to expect. When the time comes, I think I'll manage. Ah, what a heartfelt moment. She's gay? That's probably not where the story's going. Her dad looks younger than her lover? This is true. He does look like he's like 24. She wants to reassure you that she's capable of looking after herself. She wanted to prove to you that she can manage her own affairs, like getting married. Don't worry, sir. I'll keep an eye on her, wink. Majima's gay? I don't think that's where this is going either. 
Unless your dad actually knew Majima-kun, yes? You've done well finding this man. I had nothing to worry about after all. I can see there's no longer any need. Nice. Everyone's gay. That's also probably not where this is going. Maybe. Yeah, he might know that he's faking. Bulletproof glass amulet. Oh, nice. Uh. Arigato. Smetra Midi, your mom big gay? Oh, no. Now you're on to me. Something wrong. Majima Kun, there's one last thing I need to say. I'm glad I got to talk to you. You went through all the bother pretending to be my daughter's boyfriend just for my sake. You're a good man. Ah. Uh, I'd like it if you would be my daughter's real boyfriend. Oh, what? What? Won't you please ask my daughter out for real? Consider it for a moment, please? What in the fresh hell makes you think that's a good idea? You're the ideal man. I think I can safely entrust her future to you. You could start by just pretending. That's fine. Heck, if she won't take you, I will. Bro, what? Bro, what? This fucking game, dude. Fuck her dad. I don't think I have a choice anymore, dude. I want you to take me out for real. <laughs> Oh, this fucking geeks. The long man plot twist. Oh my god. Oh, I fucking love these side stories, man. If this game's taught me anything, it's that I hate my life. But this game makes me feel better about it. Oh? Oh, sorry. I thought you were a side mission. Out of the way, fuck dicks. Hey, buddy. Lend us some cash. Hey, didn't I already beat your ass not that long ago? Are the Japanese LGBT friendly? Ah. Uh, I feel like with cultural stuff, they're typically a little bit behind, so I want to imagine they might not be. Told all you bitches he wants you to take his daughter to the bone zone? Listen, I think he wants me to take anybody to the bone zone. That's how he slips in. Yeah, I totally want you for uh, my daughter. Yeah, my daughter. Yeah, exactly. Why do they still have all this gay stuff everywhere? Who knows? Perfect attack and defense. Cha 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 cha. God, that's satisfying. You have a bat in your hand, and the finishing move is a stomp? Okay. You landed a hit on me. Enjoy it. If by T you mean tentacles, then T- Yeah. Going for a while. Talk to you later. Thanks for dropping by, Kubi. Ooh, an iron gear. Nice. All right. Back to my apartment. It's totally exi- Huh? A drunkard? Bro, really? Let me hit you with the infinity swirl. This dude couldn't even handle the infinity swirl, dude. Fuck out of here. Oh, wait. I have to go... Oh, I have to, like, go this way. Hold on. Oh, it's down here. Interesting. River fishing. Hey, Kubi, thanks for the bits. Later. Appreciate it, man. Have a good night. Um, this is my apartment. Huh? Huh? Japanese really like androgyny, but it's deemed more of a fetish there. That's an interesting dynamic. I'm with Odyssey. What? Odyssey. This is about Nozuma. Yamagata and I worked out a deal. Doesn't mean we did. We got balls like boulders to come and poach our number one girl. Who the fuck are you? Don't you know I own a bat? 
たお客様は神様や言うて夜の帝王かなんか知らんがなっさげないあなた百には通用しても俺らに土下座通用せんで You guys don't even look that tough This guy's only got one chin お前らの言う通り I was about to recommend Resident Evil 4, then I remember Sumento is a big pussy boy. You won't play a PlayStation 2 action horror game. You're right. You are right. Don't look into Japanese cameras. They steal your soul. That, mm. You might have a point there. All right, you goofy motherfuckers. Let's do this. Infinity bat. Infinity bat. Oh, there's a heat move if I've ever seen one. Home run, baby. The fuck out of here. Ooh, big satisfaction. The Japanese have a saying that the nail that sticks up gets hammered. Basically, don't stand out or shame. Yeah, that's. I guess that's what I meant. The game where you beat ghosts by taking pictures of them? Are you thinking of Luigi's Mansion? Oh, they got up pretty quickly. Hitting them with the big swing? Hell yeah. This base bat's hella fucking satisfying. Has Waluigi got his own game yet? Waluigi's got... Waluigi... Wario has his own game. I don't... Waluigi has tennis? Isn't Waluigi a thing? Is Luigi's Mansion too scary for you? Yes, it still gives me nightmares. Luigi's Mansion is beating them with the big suck? Ooh, of course. The animation suddenly got CGI. Waluigi does have his own game. It's called Yakuza. <laughs> Dude, get into investing into the Chinese restaurant. Late game pulling a blicky basically is open. Wait, what? Invest into the Chinese restaurant. Late game pulling a blicky. So having a gun, you mean? Huh. Huh. Interesting. There sure are a lot of people in Tokyo. If you're hungry in Japan, they have 10 second rule. Remember that? What the fuck does that mean? <laughs> Bro. Hey, two million yen. I can't wait to lose it to a Mr. Shakedown. Big suck. Yes, Tokyo has a lot of people. Good job. Hey, thanks, man. You can get firearms from the arms dealer if you invest enough. Interesting. Boss battles are a joke when you just shoot them to death. Maybe that's not the right play then. A tiger on his back? Oh, Who the fuck is this? Oh. Majima's brother? Guns. Guns. 
36 shot what i mean is he not factoring in that you can reload them yakuza brother not a real brother ah yes Oh, this blunder with the guns must be what's gotten him kicked out of the family, I guess.実はあの計画ちょっと問題がありましてね。予定を変更させてもらうことになりました。この兄弟は この俺は行く。たとえどんな裏があっても構わへん。俺にとって最初もあたった人の兄弟なんじゃ。マジマさん。でもそれじゃあなたの身もうるせえ。関係ないわ。こっちはそないのも。とっくに捨てる払って人じ
Gorgon FPS, thanks for the follow, homie. Probably a weird time to join the chat, but whatever. Welcome to the meme stream, meme stream. Hope you enjoy your stay. Another shit night sleep. Got to get to work. Not much else I can do right now. I hope I bump into some dudes I can fuck up. Technically, you're supposed to know Saijima's fate since it comes up in Yakuza 4, but this game goes no further on the topic. I need to hurry up and play all the Yakuza games. Duh. I love how his fucking apartment's just in a little tucked away little alleyway, basically. God, how many times do I need to beat up you idiots on this bridge, man? It's like you don't learn. One big Yakuza marathon, all the games chronological order. Let's get it. I'd be so down. If I knew that I would make enough money on Twitch to make up for the fact that it would take me like two weeks to play through all the games, I would 100% play through the games. No fucking problem. No fucking problem. Ooh! Very satisfying. Gonna sign off for tonight, boys. Thanks for dropping by. One man for me. When are you gonna do a drunk stream? Uh, if I get Twitch partnered... I will do a drunk stream. If I get Twitch partnered. It's probably not going to happen because we're not sending it 75 average viewers. But my application's in. Hopefully they like me. Hopefully we get it. And then I'll do a drunk stream. If not, 100,000 YouTube subs. Or I think for Twitch, it has to be getting Twitch partnered. I don't think I can do like a subscriber number or anything. I don't want you guys throwing money at me. You know what I mean? There's a PlayStation waifu game where you play as a personified P where you play as a personified PS1 and save the world from aliens. That sounds like a fucking wreck. At what point would he play the PS2 versions of Yakuza 1 and 2? I don't know if I would. Because Kiwami is just Yakuza 1, right? So I've already played Yakuza 1, basically. Glad I hold my ass over here then. Gotta make myself useful. Even just getting Nozomi is a small miracle. Asking for anything more would just be greedy. Looks like my little talk with Yamagata went well. Honestly, though, I was hoping we'd make out a little better than what we got. A little more research ahead of time or a closer look at the inside of the club might have given me a few more cards to play with. No sense worrying about it now, though. Oh, no. Did I fuck up the observation? You can kick the guys off the bridge if you grab them and use a heat action near the guardrail. Oh, I should. Just tell them facts about vending machines? Ah, yes. That would get me laid instantly. <laughs> Telephone for you, sir. Uh, when I asked who was calling, it just said the owner. I'll handle it. Oh, no. The Yakuza's on me. The story is different between the games. They're not one-for-one -one remix. Oh! Oh! <laughs> <笑>やめとけ。あんまりうまいもんじゃねえぞ、あれは。ちょっと、what the fuck kind of Majima is supposed to die in the first Yakuza. In broad strokes, similar events happen, although a lot of the finer details are different between the original and Kiwami. Ooh. I really like the story in Kiwami, so I'd be excited to fucking watch what it originally was. Fuck, we, we will end up playing all the Yakuza games. I fucking love these games. Wait, how is there people in the street? Shouldn't they be wearing masks? What BS is this? This game took place before the Modelo virus. Thighs. Oh, sorry to bother you, Nishiki. All right, let's get out of here. More thighs? Ugh, you don't have thighs. It's like they didn't even get with the program, dude. Thighs mandatory. I feel like that's the third time I've gotten stuck on that thing. It's the 1980s, my guy. Yeah, haven't you seen the flip phones? All right. Let's go to wherever the fuck this is.
Where is this? Oh, far as hell. I'm definitely going to get fucking whacked. Oh, uno momento. Oh, fuck. That's right. If I stand still, it gives me notes. Sorry, I had to attack. Yakuza 1 also has Mark Hamill as Majima? Really? Look at this goofy idiot looking back at me. I'll break your fucking face. Time for a side mission. Fuck it. My daughter, please let my lorry go. Eh? Nani? Carol Baskin killed her husband, whacked him. Can't convince me that it didn't happen. The Yakuza series has so many good spin-offs that are Japan exclusive. There's a series where you play as a feudal uh, samurai and policeman. I ain't even joking. Since Yakuza 1 and 2 are the only Yakuza games that got dubs, they have an English cast, and Mark Hamill really does Majima's voice. That's wild, dude. Your daughter is with us of her own free will. Your accusations have no merit. You people dupe my daughter into joining. Fanatics, Disciple of the New Order. What an interesting sub-story. What's going on, lady? Allow me to kelp. Foot. Pajama lad screwball something up. Yeah. What's going on? A cult, you say? Hook. Mm. How old is Lori Chan? Twenty old enough to not get dragged into a cult, isn't it? If I remember right, this game series has actual Yakuza as advisors to make sure they're accurate. Really? The voice actors for Jake the Dog was a hitman in this game as well and a few generic bad guys. I love how voice acting isn't like that big of a pool of people. So yeah, you get like little mixovers like that. was missing classes. They have a building? I thought cults were broke normally. She gets this far away look in her eyes whenever she talks about the new obsession of hers. I'm sure they've done something to her. She's also been spending her money on these expensive amulets and statues. Huh. They didn't resort to force, but they weren't going to leave without her either. But they turned me away at the door. Recently lost my husband? Hmm. Would you mind joining that cult for me? Join them? I thought I would just break in. Only disciples are allowed inside. Joining them is the only way to get in. I would sneak in myself, but they know my face now. They would never let me pass the doors. Ah. Oh. Hmm. Can't say no now. Fuck it. We got some we got some uh impressionable youths to save, boys. Good guy Majima, all up in this bitch. Do I switch back to Kiryu at any point, or is Majima the rest of the game? I don't even remember where we left off with Kiryu.
Handmade amulet. Little charm I made to ward off evil. I think you may need it, my Jamasan, for protection. Hope it really works. The reason most people haven't played Yakuza is the game was marketed very poorly. They marketed it as GTA in Japan, so the slower pace and tone really turned the normies away. The dubbing was also too time-consuming and expensive, so Sega gave up. But it's so funny. The writing is so good. So what is this? This is to meet the dude. Is this the... I'm guessing that's where the building is? Oh, no, 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 no. So... Um, yeah, let's try and finish up the side quest. So I'm guessing this is the building. Yeah, here's the Japanese. Japanese pajama motherfuckers. Uh, namaste. Uh, maijima-san. I miss the late 2000s emo girls, bro. Listen, if we make a concentrated effort to continue to listen to alternative pop, maybe they'll come back. You switch back and forth? Okay, cool. What if old lady was actually a cult member and this was their way of tricking new recruits? Oh, that'd be big brain as fuck, dude. Normies, get off my Yakuza. Uh, excuse me. Yes. Do you seek something from us? To meet Lori Chan, I have to get into this cult, so I gotta act like I really want to join the cult. Oh, no. The Order of Macho... Ched dipped orst. Moran chophast orast. Munen chohept onast. Let's try that. No. Oh! You have come to embrace. Oh my god, I got it right. Do you wish to become chosen? Yes, I do. Munan chohep is where it's at. <laughs> Glory be. Right this way. Holy fuck, boys. We're making it. It's high dare de omayu. Just put the Evanescence discography and the late 2000s emo girls will flock to you. Yes, that's how it works. This cult is based off a real doomsday cult that killed people and tried to poison the city with anthrax. This is why cults get such a bad name. This is exactly why. I have your name, please. I'm Maijima. Goro Maijima. Isn't this dude, like, a very well-known cabaret manager? Like, why does he keep giving his real name? Uh -huh. Onast is a word we use to express the feelings of gratitude and appreciation. Onast to you, too. We'll have you observe a portion of our activities today. You must observe with purpose. It is the first part of your training to absorb our doctrine. There will be a test at the end as a measure of your faith. Ah. Oh. Terrified disciple. What's all that racket? Apologies, brother. He is a debaser. I will call for a chastising. Not a chastising. Have mercy. What the fuck? Your concerns are unfounded, Brother Majima. The poor soul is racked by an episodic outburst of manic behavior. Interesting. I want to go home. So these guys are just stealing motherfuckers. Listen, I might only have one eye, but I know how to observe. This is our prayer room. It's where we practice shure pee pee. Ah, you slip that shure pee pee thing as if it were the most natural thing in the world. What is it? Shure pee pee. Guys, do you think he has a big shure pee pee or a small shure pee pee energy, huh? Big shure pee pee energy. That's what they call me. Shure pee pee is training. Interesting. Oh, they're literally chanting shoot at pee pee. Small, small, small shoot at pee pee energy? Do the hustle? Okay. 
Latest recruits, eh? That lady's lost daughter, Lori Chan, could be doing the shoot a pee pee thing in here. Shoot a pee pee gives them focus, though concentration, they acclimate kulipas. You guys got a dictionary for all this? What's kulipas? A measure of virtue. As we accumulate kulipas, the divine Munen Chohept shall bestow enlightenment and rapture upon us. <sighs> this is getting so old so fast. Shoot a pee pee. Lori! Guys, we found her! Lori? Is that our girl? I'm sorry, I need a minute to help steer our friends towards the path of the just. Brother Majima, fe please feel free to observe. Have you seen a Mexican in Japan? I have not. Kulipas equals kum? Hmm, maybe. Uh, hey, Lori-chan. How do we know if this is her? You don't join a cult if you have big pee-pee and your life is going well. You got a point there. You got a point there. Sister, that guy called you Lori, right? Ignoring me, huh? Guess she wants to concentrate on her shoot pee peepee. But I got to see if this is really Lori-chan. What will I say to her? Call her Lori? Claim to be Munan Chohept. Crack a dumb pun? Call her Lori. No! I am Munan Chohept. Munen Chohept am I, mortal. I come bearing grave tidings. What blasphemy? How dare you take the blessed name of our master, the great Munen Chohept? Whoa, she got steamed. How do you know my name? Ah, this is Lori. My mom? Yeah. She asked me to get in here and tell you to come home. Ma... Mother, 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 mother. Huh. Is she brainwashed? What the fuck is happening? My head, it hurts. Oh, no. Have they done some sort of mental recalibration so she doesn't think of her mom? Brother Majma, what's going on here? You must not disturb our disciples and shoot a pee pee. Uh, yeah, sorry, my bad. Sister Lori-chan, are you well? Please be careful when speaking to fellow disciples. Our friends are purging memories of family and their worldly ties to obtain spiritual purity. Purging their memories. Guys, this is happening. Make her moan again. Guys, take it easy. Take it easy. You missed out on the Sotenbori knee slapper? Ah, sorry. Make me moan, Sumeto-chan? Uh, I don't know how. Oh, oh now this dude's interrupting their Shuru pee-pee. Guru Munan Suzuki. Guru Munan Suzuki. Interesting. Munan Suzuki. Munan. Sh this fucking dude. Uh, this guy reminds me of like Bobby Lee in a hilarious costume. Just like in any Mad TV skit. Munancho. Munancho. You must all buy dirt bikes. Hey, I could get behind this cult. I really like this music, though. Yeah, it's very dojo. Uh huh? That was a moon. Munancho is our word of greeting. Incidentally, our word for farewell is hepton. Brother Majima, please. Uh, say it with the pose. Just say the word. No, say it with the pose. Munancho. 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 Nicely done. Two spirits point two spirit points awarded. Guys, we got some spirit points. This dude would fit into a long man commercial. That he would. Glory be a most splendid greeting. Our savior and master Munan Chohept is most pleased. Oh. I had no idea it was physically possible to be this phony. This is actually kind of impressive. Redeem the spirit points for gummy bears? Ooh, I'm excited now. What, bro? I'm going to read this sentence, and I want you guys to not explode, okay? How much 
Titherance have you all contributed to the exalted Munan Chohept? Remember the answers at the end? Don't worry, man. I am the world's best. I've contributed five Rincho. I've done better. Eight Rincho. Titherance is what we call a tithe. Okay. How much is a Rincho worth? One Rincho is 100,000 yen. That much order? It's all a process to greater enlightenment and joy. When one is bound by the chains of gold, there can be no freedom. Renouncing our possessions is the first step to the rapture. Bro, renounce my dick, dude. Eat your own ass, Sumeto? I've been working on it. I'm not flexible enough. Once the corona's over, I'll try and remove my bottom four ribs and see if that helps. <laughs> Onast, my friends. Is Onast goodbye? Lori-san, you appear pale. How much titherance have you tendered towards your enlightenment? I haven't been able to put together enough money yet. A false friend? Such a shameful lack of faith. I beg for your forgiveness. Shame! But friends, do not chastise your sister Lori-san. Oh. Titherance is an especially valued form of Shure Pipi. If you alone are lacking in Rincho, Sister Lorichan, your Kulipas will be stunted. Bro, what the fuck is happening? Oh my god. Don't do it. Marilyn Monroe said it's too expensive to remove your ribs. Well, he is kind of the expert on the thing, isn't it? Titherance is a donation. Shure Pipi is meditation. Kulipas is what? Special Shure Pipi? Dude, he's going to give her the special shoot at PP, which means he actually considered it. What do you mean actually considered it? Marilyn Manson did, in fact, have his bottom ribs removed, didn't he? Or is that just a meme? The most sacred form of shoot at PP. It bestows enormous kulipas. We shall experience it together shortly. Go and cleanse your body of impurities. Interesting. Imagine the savings on having a girlfriend, though. What do you mean? No, we didn't? Oh, no. I've fallen for the meme. Hepton, friends, please continue with your shoot at PP. Onast. Just a middle school rumor? I do remember hearing it in middle school, so you might have a point there. The disciple becomes as one, body and soul, with our guru. Becomes as one, huh? It's a special shoot at PP allowed only to women and even among them only the chosen if i were not a man i wish i could partake in its grand glory he's definitely just gonna diddle her fiddle right guys literally asking for sex that's what i'm saying according to google it was rumored that marilyn manson had ribs removed to facilitate auto fellatio um i don't know why that was so tough to say interviewed for a vogue article in 2000 john sherman of Whale Cornell Medical College said that while doing such a procedure was theoretically possible, there was no record of it in the medical literature. Oh. Yeah, that's false. He didn't do that. He he. Oh no. In my late 20s in my late 2000s in my late 2000s everybody's late 2000s. Emo girl Oh, in my late 2000s emo girl phase, I was heavily into Marilyn Manson and listened to interviews of him and I got brought up. Yeah, that seems to be a common trope. Oh, huh, that's weird. I thought that was like common knowledge, but I guess not. Your boy's wrong. Oh, time for my test. Let's get it. In the order of Munan Kohept Onas, what do we say to express our gratitude? Onast. Or, wait, Munan Cho? Guys, is it Munan Cho or Onast? It's Onast, right? Guys, what is it? Munan Cho is hello? Okay, so it's Onast, yeah. Onast, yes. <laughs> what do we call the training we undergo to accumulate Kulipas? Shure Pipi? Shure Pipi? Shure pipi. Ha ha ha. Shure pipi king. <laughs> Time for my shuru pipi flattening. Munan shows our greeting in the order of Munan Kohept. Please demonstrate it. Uh, circle with the left hand, then bring the palms together. Do the hustle! I get it. 
Do the hustle. Dun, 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 dun. No, no, no. We got to save the girl. We got to save the girl. We got to save the girl. Munancho. Munancho. Guys, we have to save the girl. <laughs> we got to hit him with the Munancho, guys. Do you remember the name of our guru? Munan Suzuki. You didn't hustle. Guys, 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 guys. It's okay. I can hustle in real life. I don't know how to... I don't know how to do the hustle. I'll be honest. Ha ha ha. Perfect four out of four. I'm the world's best. Ah, now we can go to the guru's quarters where he's probably violating a young girl and we can pound his Suzuki straight up his Munancho. All right, listen, pencil dick. I got beef with you, my guy. Extraordinary individual, Guru. He is most worthy of your divine benediction. There, you have my blessing. Uh, you got some crystal. Interesting. Guru, excuse me. Lori. Ah, you readied yourself for Shuru Pipi. Pee -pee. I am a vessel for your special Shuru Pipi. -pee. Guys, this is getting awkward, dude. It's getting so awkward. Both of you should leave at once. Hepton. I am Munan Cho Hept. Hmm. It didn't work before. What's the chance it works now? Don't say it. Hmm. Fuck it. Your mom's going to be heartbroken. Lori-chan, you're being conned. <laughs> Who is mom? My head, it hurts. Bro, she's hella brainwashed. You might have messed your memory, but you got to remember who raised you. Awakening the memories of friends is a sin beyond all sins. Shut your face, you dumb phony. What is mom? Oh, no. <gasps> I dropped the amulet. Of course, she knows. MK Ultra did a number on her. Tell me about it, dude. Ah, there you go. Fuck this hippie. This woman was ripened. Mine for the plucking. How dare you interfere? This is such a convoluted strategy to get laid, dude. What the fuck? Mm -hmm. All right, let's get it, you fuck dick. You aren't even kind of menacing. I bet he dies in one hit. Well, I guess not, but whatever. I call this infinity years of home runs. Boom. Number three, Majima. All right, I'm out of heat, but it's okay. Ooh, nice breakdancing style. Let me introduce you to my abandoned dad style. Oh. Thousand years of death. Thousand years of spinning bat move. Ooh, okay. 
Okay. Okay, alright. Oh, big attack and I missed it. Ah, not so tough now that I've got you in a corner. No, I keep missing that really big swing, dude. Gotcha. Oh, big dodge. All right. Ooh, there we go. There we go. Fuck this dude. This is just like when my dad comes home and pistol whips my mom. <laughs> I had a purple star next to my name in chat. What does that mean? A purple star? I don't know. Use your heat moves, my guy. I would, if he wasn't knocking the heat out of me. I hit him with some fancy blows, though. You must call me an ambulance. Ritual of healing for him. Moon on. Uh, no, you dipshits. <laughs> Waving your hands around won't fix anything. <laughs> uh, should it be? be? Somebody help me. Lorichan, we should get you home. That man's going to get shooto pee peed to death, dude. Purple background, white star? No idea. This isn't good, Krovi. The best map is Blackout 3. I, wrong game, Fweep. We did it. We saved a girl. A lot of dialogue. What a touching moment that I wish I could skip through even faster. Oh, thank you. Traveler's Amulet. Ooh, a lot of stars. Here, you handed over the handmade amulet. <laughs> we also got some crystals. Maybe those are worth some money. They're probably not. A Disciple of the New Order. Completed. Wait, is this whole game like this, or is this just an odd side quest? It's literally just an odd side quest. <laughs> 